Hi, this is Erin Johnson, Outstanding Ohio's Most Resourceful Realtor, and I am here today to talk to you about how to navigate inspections, specifically if something comes up in a home inspection, how to negotiate through and what are the options for both the buyer and the seller. So let's get started. Um, really, I've boiled this down to, I've kind of made a little decision matrix here. I've boiled this down to the questions and considerations that the buyer has to make. And then really, it kind of comes down to one of three options for how to resolve it. And the questions the buyers need to be thinking about is, do you want control over the remedy or the fix? So, you know, how much do you want to make sure that it's the person you trust, that you are there to observe what they're doing and so forth, versus letting the seller decide that? Um, does the buyer have the cash to make the repair? How... Um, involved and expensive is the repair timeline can it get fixed before closing so those are the main questions the buyer needs to think about and then if you look at the bottom of this these are really you know you sort through these questions but these are really the options that you have ultimately is that the seller makes a fix and pays for it before closing that's option a in no particular order. Option B is the buyer fixes it after closing and the seller provides a price reduction. So you lower the price by X amount and then you close and then the buyer deals with it after they, they own the house. And then option C is the buyer deals with it after closing, but there's a closing cost credit provided. So the price stays the same, but the seller provides credit towards the buyer's closing costs. So those are the three options that it's going to boil down to. But starting at the top, does the buyer want control over the remedy? If they don't, if they don't care, maybe it's a pretty straightforward fix, uh, they don't want to deal with it, then they can just go with option A, have the seller fix it and pay for it before closing. Easy peasy. If they do want control over the remedy, the next question they have to answer is if they have the cash to make the repair. So I'm going to make this up. Maybe it's a $5,000 thing. Do they have $5,000 to do it? If so, um, they can uh, just take the price reduction. So their mortgage won't be as high. Um, they can lower the price by $5,000 and then they can spend the $5,000 to make the fix after they take possession. If they don't have the cash, they can do the closing cost credit. So that's basically going to reduce their closing costs, what they're going to owe at closing, by that amount. So they were going to have $5,000 for closing costs. Now they um, are, are not going to have to pay that towards closing costs because they're going to get a credit. And that means they'll have an extra $5,000 in theory in their pocket, if you will, or in their bank account that they can then make the repair after closing. And then if you're kind of not sure, like maybe you want control over it or maybe you don't care, some other things to think about is how involved is the issue and how expensive is it, like how defined is it and how expensive is it. So if it's pretty clearly defined expense and issue, like it's a straightforward fix, then um, then you can explore the option of possibly having having the seller fix it. Um, and then the other question is, can it get fixed before closing? So if it's pretty defined and it can get fixed before closing and you don't really care about having control over it, then go ahead and let the, the seller fix it and, and pay for it before closing. If it's pretty defined, but it can't get fixed before closing, then um, you go to the question of whether the buyer has the cash to make the repairs and that'll lead you to option B or C. Um, if it's not defined or you're not sure how much it's going to cost, that's where you may want to have the seller do it because um, you don't want to um, be surprised once you took possession that like you thought it was this, but it was really something else um, that was more expensive or there's some kind of domino or effect or whatnot. So that's some, some case where you may want to have the seller fix it just to make sure that it is... Um, taken care of. So other considerations, you just need to know some things might be required by the lender to fix before closing, or perhaps the money could be held in escrow, particularly if it's some kind of major health or safety issue. So even if you're like, hey, I have the cash and I want to control this later, they may not let you. So, so do know that. Um, and then if the seller is in a situation where they don't have the cash to make the repair, um, you could move to option B or C, or the seller might be able to provide a credit that's held with title and escrow for the work to be done after closing, again, if the lender approves. So I hope that gives you a high level idea of some of the options. I'm always happy to talk through them with you or, of course, work with your realtor and, um, you know, give me a call if, if I can be of any help. Thank